Oh, there they are again, there they are again. Look at, look at, see them? Wow, dude, look at that. Yeah. They're still there, they're yeah. still there. Wow, that's great. Well guys, I'm out here trying to do some filming of these sharks jumping. It's really hard to do. Every time I go in one spot, they jump in another. It's like playing whack-a-mole. But it's really fun to see. I mean, I've never seen sharks just jump out of the water like they are. They're coming up, jumping five, six feet in the air sometimes, spinning. And I don't even know what they're doing. I'll have to ask Josh. They're just they're just jumping like, like dolphins would. But it's really pretty neat to see and experience. Definitely gonna remember this and hopefully I'll get a shot of it. Sitting here with the squad. Come on, guys. Mike just lost a pretty good shark. Again. 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 Still waiting on that first shark. So we'll give you an update when he lands it. His hookup ratio with sharks is the same as his hookup ratio with bass. <laughs> no, that's not quite. Oh. Not quite. Mike's hooking me up with the uh, official Camelback squirt bottle. Um, Got to stay hydrated. I'm trying. I'm trying to be like Mike. Yo. Guys, just stay hydrated. In the comments, tell us when Mike should just get his own one wild one reel ones made for merchandise. Like, seriously, <laughs> yeah. Use promo code one wild one reel. Camelback.com. Yeah. So we got a situation here. Just got off the water today. Uh, me and my, Mike both had sharks on today, and we lost them. Yeah, it's, it's kinda... tough, man. I mean, right now is a really tough situation as well, dude. We got a tough situation because we have left our mystery tackle box garlic baits. And I have my wet there. shoes in there, which just smell pretty nasty as well. Yeah, and Mike's shoes. Plus, we got like Some food, we got Cheetos. <laughs> this is not our proudest uh, traveling moment, but we're going to roll down the windows, get this smell out, we're going to keep trucking. My house low. Worst week of fishing of my life, man. Getting ready to head out, guys. Last chance. Is it gonna happen? We just don't know. We're gonna give it our best. The Lord gave us a calm ocean today. And we really haven't seen that yet since we've been down here. So, it's our best chance for lures that we have. It's our last chance for lures that we have. Let's go make it rain or go home humble. Been morally defeated by these sharks. Oceans look good though. Jump! Shark jump! Mike!
Mike's hooked up, guys. Mike's hooked up. We got our first shark on. First shark on. Mike's first shark. Here we go. Had a boy, Mike. Had a boy. We finally got Mike on a shark. This is the moment of truth, man. What do you think about the fight right now? Dude, this thing is insanely powerful. It's the strongest fish I've ever felt on a rod and reel. This will be my personal best rod and reel fish. What do you think about those jumps, man? Dude, it's incredible. It's like a freaking smallie. Smallie on steroids. <laughs> That's what I think. There he is. There he is. See him. Wearing him down, bud. Wearing him down. Wearing me down. You got him, Mike. It's almost in. Come on, Mike. All right, guys. Josh is about to about to land this shark. Yeah, bro. Nice little baby. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Mike's first shark. This day, it finally happened on our last day. That's awesome, man. Almost got it. Got it. Hooks out. Oh, okay, okay. Hooks out, ready to roll. Woo. I'm gonna let you go, girl. Hi. Mike, would you let him go? <laughs> yeah, pull, pull the tail into the water. Yeah, pull backwards, yep. All right. Woo. That was a little scary, not gonna lie. Let him go. Push him. There he goes. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> Finally. Got him. Finally. Oh, oh, man. Was it worth it? Can't <laughs> believe it. Dude, that was so awesome. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. <laughs> Mike just caught his first shark. Caught that one on cut bait, but now we're gonna see if we can get one on a lure. The sun's just popping up. We've probably only got five to ten minutes left of prime biting time, and then it's over. Another one just jumped out there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that one, just jumped in the, the sunrise over there. That's awesome. Sun's coming up now. I think our bite is about to disappear. Well, guys, I think that's going to conclude my shark trip here with the artificial lures trying to catch them on top water. I was so stoked to come in here and and try to catch these sharks on top water and I'm coming out just super humbled. The black tip sharks are very, very smart and they just don't want to hit lures when the, when the sun is high or the conditions aren't right. Um, I can't figure them out. Josh has had a tough time figuring them out. The good news is we got Mike his first shark. We got that on cut bait. Uh, that was a huge goal for the trip. So we got that knocked out, but I don't think it's going to happen on lures. So now what we're going to do, we're going to head over to a little lake and do some bass fishing because Florida right now we're in full-blown uh, spawn post spawn and it's gonna be a lot better conditions than trying to catch sharks on top water at least we'll get something so we're gonna have a little friendly competition to at least make this uh, some excitement for the day for the trip so I've had a great time catching uh, fishing for these sharks and I'm always ready to go bass fishing let's go do it And uh, we had to get some fuel, so we went to the the Duncan. So let's let's check out let's check out the fuel. Uh, I'm I'm going with a maple glazed donut, ham, egg, and cheese, muffin, plain straight up coffee. Mike's got a bagel situation there. Bacon, egg, cheese, good. everything bagel. Yep, bagel. Uh, Mr. Bagel back here, what do you got? Gone. It's already gone. I'm, I got this chicken thing here I'm working on right now. He's ready to rock. All right, bass challenge coming at you. 